Jack Donnelly, Universal Human Rights in Theory and Practice. Dive into the world of human rights as we explore Jack Donnelly's Universal Human Rights in Theory and Practice. This summary outlines the inherent rights of all humans and examines the understanding that rights are universal, equal, and inalienable. Donnelly highlights how human rights have evolved over time, emphasizing on dignity as the core value behind these rights. The summary also addresses the complexities of humanitarian intervention, the history of human rights in various cultures, and the role of global institutions in promoting and enforcing such rights. Discover how human rights tie to democracy, development, and the welfare state, offer an insightful understanding of the fundamental rights of humanity. The Power of Human Rights Human rights are inherent entitlements possessed by all human beings, which confer power upon the holder to secure those entitlements. The inalienability and universality of these rights means that all people are equal in their possession of them. Rights are often only brought up for discussion when a question arises, and the legal arena is where they are typically settled. Understanding the Universality of Human Rights Human rights are fundamental entitlements given to all humans globally and are considered universal in nature. They are based on the need to protect dignity that is under threat from political and economic factors. The specific human rights enshrined in various lists, including the ICCPR, are not fixed but keep evolving based on the changing social, economic, and political conditions. Human rights are also relative as they are interpreted and implemented differently across regions and times. Human rights are indivisible, interdependent, and individual, with a focus on the individual rather than the group. However, certain rights, such as those of indigenous peoples, might represent an exception to the individuality of human rights. It is important to note that human rights documents primarily speak in terms of individual rights holders while recognizing, promoting, and protecting an individual's membership in society through various rights such as freedom of association. Human nature and the basis for human rights. Human rights are not based on needs or capabilities, but on a moral dimension of human nature. This perspective ensures that every human being is entitled to respect and treatment that reflects and fosters their moral worth, allowing them to fulfill their potential. Although the basis for human rights is speculative and aspirational, it is still the source for legal and political recognition of human rights. While notions like religious scriptural support or the needs of community life have been presented as foundations for human rights, they are not necessarily convincing. Ultimately, no irrefutable foundation exists for human rights, but one is not necessary. The Significance of Dignity The notion of dignity is a significant concept for international human rights organizations today and is established as a fundamental value in various human rights agreements. While historically dignity belonged to the elite, human rights democratize dignity by acknowledging the inherent worth of all individuals and demanding respect. Although some consider dignity as an undefinable trait, others anchor it to specific characteristics. This interpretation presents a middle ground, linking political ideas of justice with moral systems and worldviews. The universal appeal of human dignity highlights its importance and recognition. The Flawed Dichotomy of Human Rights Categorizing human rights into civil-slash-political and social-slash-economic ones can aid violators. There's no credible ground for denying certain rights. Respect for human rights, democracy and development now define political legitimacy and justify humanitarian intervention against genocide. However, ethical, legal and political issues still surround it. The world's growing intolerance for genocide has shaped views on sovereignty. In an ideal world, rights would be respected without enforcement. The positive-slash-negative nature of rights and other notions should hold no sway over human dignity and protection. Evolution of Human Rights Human rights have only existed since the 20th century, despite arguments that they have a long history in some cultures. In China, human rights were not recognized until the 20th century, while limited government and certain rights existed in traditional African societies. 
Islam's rights upheld values similar to human rights but only as duties, not rights. Hinduism, with its caste system, extended dignity to animals and individuals based on their place in the system. However, the idea that anyone can progress spiritually gave rise to more egalitarian attitudes in India. In the West, the concept of universal dignity only emerged through the development of capitalism and the modern state. Immanuel Kant originated modern concepts of dignity and human rights, which developed into natural rights during the 18th century. Human rights may have first emerged in the Western world but are now a universal concept that any society can embrace. Understanding Human Rights The 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted with overwhelming global support and later gained the force of law through two international covenants. John Rawls and Ronald Dworkin offer insights into how societal views on human rights are formed and how they reflect citizens' entitlements to equality and autonomy. The UDHR emphasizes these values as well as the obligation to resist any attempts at undermining them. Contrary to a popular myth, Western countries have often been at the forefront of promoting social and economic rights, as evidenced by the establishment of the welfare state and New Deal policies. This commitment is further highlighted by the high rates of Western ratification of the international covenants and social spending. Ultimately, the international politics of human rights relies on mobilizing shame and collective action to protect these fundamental values. Human Rights Institutions A vast number of global institutions exist to protect human rights. The UN Human Rights Council leads investigations, while major treaties create monitoring bodies to ensure compliance. Similarly, regional institutions, like the Council of Europe and the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights, support human rights. Although weak, the African system provides assistance to activists, and nascent institutions in the Middle East and Asia exist to promote human rights. Single-issue groups have been successful in ending slavery, genocide, racial discrimination, and torture. Democracy does not guarantee human rights, and development can also threaten them. Economic growth does not inherently conflict with human rights as long as a welfare system exists alongside markets. Despite their importance, human rights are anti-democratic since they prioritize individual rights over popular rule. Ultimately, a welfare system must supplement markets to ensure that human rights are respected. In Universal Human Rights in Theory and Practice, Jack Donnelly takes the reader on a global journey through the complexities and nuances of human rights. Establishing that these rights are universal, equal, and inalienable to all humans, Donnelly emphasizes the role of dignity in human rights philosophy. By examining how human rights have evolved and gained global acceptance from diverse cultural and religious backgrounds, the book demonstrates the powerful influence of these rights on societies. As the summary concludes, the reader should have a deeper understanding of the delicate balance between democracy, development, and the welfare state in the pursuit of universal human rights, ultimately empowering individuals to build lives filled with dignity, value, and meaning.